Hi everyone, so when you get to the end of Apocalypse Berg, you have a giant alien to take on and it rises up out of the ground. And while Apocalypse Berg is the first world in the Lego Movie 2 game, the boss actually turns out to be a little bit more tricky than you kind of expected. So I'm gonna talk you through how to take it down, in particular, how to beat it when it's doing its mad spinning head move a little bit later on in the fight. But to begin with, you're kind of just walking around the platforms and you just gotta head on over to the left hand side. It's a good idea to pick up as many blocks along the way, so definitely attack anything around the side because you are gonna need to do a fair bit of building as you take on the giant alien. So when you get to the first of these fountains, you want to put up a spinner and that will give you water. The giant alien will then come down, have a look, try to have a drink and electrocute itself and that will knock it out. And when it's knocked out, that gives you an opportunity to climb up onto the top of his head and climb on around. It's a relatively easy little run. You just gotta walk on up, jump up to its head, picking up all the blocks along the way, jump on up onto its head and you'll be able to get over to the top. And when you get there, you'll have these little grabs to make. You just need to press, uh, press the action button to jump across to them. It's relatively easy. So for this one, you just gotta wait for the right opportunity and it'll take you around. And then it's just the last few to jump up. And then you jump up to the handrail at the top and you've got a double jump across to this little section here. And then you can get in to the, uh, the kind of weird little central boss fight where you've got to take out these heads. So it's a bit like whack-a-mole, so you've got to chase it down and hit the pink one. So he's, uh, he moves pretty fast, but it should be relatively easy to be able to take it down. And each one you take down, you take down a petal. So you've got to repeat this until you take down all of the petals, but there are phases. So you only take down four, I think, for this first phase, and then you'll take out another two phases a little bit later on in the boss fight. When you do crack that phase, you'll be kicked out of the middle portion and you'll be back out in the edge around the giant alien boss. And it does this weird head smash move with like, it looks like there's like an impact strike that follows you out. It's like a little circle that expands. So ideally what you want to do is to be able to jump and run away from that like I did there. If you can repeat that, then you'll probably be able to get away with that pretty well. And then it's just the case of putting up a generator for this second fountain. The generator will then kick in, give it electricity. The water's already there. It comes, has a little look. Hey, what's this drink? Oh, delicious. I'm gonna take a little sipsy. Ah! And then knocks herself out. So then as soon as she's down again, it's just the case of jumping up onto her head, getting back into the central section, just as she did the last time, and repeating the process. But this time it's a little bit different in there, as in there are also some white little heads. And you just need to ignore these and focus on the pink ones because if you attack the white ones, they'll electrocute you and you will pretty much just die on repeat. So make sure you're only going after the pink ones. You need to learn pretty fast in this game and you should be able to take out all of the flower petals as a part of this phase. And just like it did in the last one, you'll get kicked out, it will spit you out, and this time you skydive down to the platform once again. And this is the tricky bit. This is the bit that kind of got me thinking, how do I do that? Number one, it takes out huge amounts of the platform, so you can't even get past. Uh, but if you keep on heading around, you will trigger the next section. So just keep on heading around. And when you do get far enough around, it will trigger the next part of the, uh, the Apocalypse Berg giant alien boss fight strategy, which is to smash his head down and spin around like some kind of maniac. And as it's doing this, what you want to do is stay down in the lower portions, wait for it to go around a couple of times, and you'll see there's like a little water patch on the right hand side. Now there's no build space around that, which makes it slightly confusing and makes you think there isn't anything to do there. However, if you just whack up a generator, just sort of anywhere near it, that will fix this section and make it 
uh, electrified. So then it's just a case of jumping down here, waiting for the giant alien boss to spin on around. And that is how to beat the spinning head. And that will be the final phase. Then it's just a case of jumping up to its head, moving around, climbing back in and going after the petals once again. So when you get over here, it's a little bit higher than before. So you've got to put in a little bouncer to be able to jump on up to it. And once you get up, you can just climb on in just as you have done previously. And then this time there is only one pink one at any one point. So it's easy to go after the wrong one. You've just got to focus on going after the pink one. So don't hit the white ones, just go after the pink ones. It makes it slightly more difficult, but once you do eventually take them all down and take out the last of the petals, that will be the end of the Apocalypse Berg's giant alien boss. And that is how to take it out. And then you get like a little cut scene and it kind of gets a little bit crazed but it does go down. So that's it guys. Hopefully that helps you out. And if it does, drop us a like below. It's massively appreciated. All your support is massively appreciated. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and you can check out our shop, our merch and our shop with the links below that. We'll also be putting up all of our videos for the Lego Movie 2 game with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments below and I will catch you next time for more from the Lego Movie 2 game.